Hey guys, what's going on? It's ETA Prime back here again. Uh, today I'm showing you Android 5.1.1 running on the Rose Apple Pie. Now I have it at, um, set at 1080p, uh, but in my display settings under CPU-Z, it's showing that I am at 1600 by 1080. I'm not sure if this is correct or if it's just um, CPU-Z not reading it correctly. But let's get right into it. Now this has an S500 quad-core processor clocked 1.1 gigahertz. We also have a PowerVR SGX 544MP GPU. Um, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And we have four gigabytes of onboard storage, uh, EMMC storage. So let's see if we get any thermals. Oh, okay. And we don't have any sensors here. So I wanted to go ahead and get into a few benchmarks with this. Now I have had very, very good experience with this um, setup so far. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you that we are running Android 5.1.1 and this is the Rose Apple Pie. Let's go ahead and do a quick and Tutu benchmark. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the results for you. All right, so he scored a 23,000. Now this is um, an early build of Android 5.1.1. I suspect that we could get to about 27,000, and that's about it at this clock rate. But for a little $35 board, this thing is pretty good. Let's go ahead and run a browser test. I still run Sun Spider even though Jetstream is out. I've run Sun Spider for years and I kind of have a baseline of what all my devices have run at. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this for you. All right, we scored a 2687. Um, not too bad. Let's uh, go ahead and get back out of here and let's run a Geekbench. As you can see, the score is pretty low. Now these are benchmarks. This is not real world performance. Now in... Um, Everything that I've tested, everything works great. I get good frame rates. Um, everything seems very smooth. But uh, next up, my next video, I will be doing some old school retro game emulation. Um, and then I'll have a few more videos up of some media players that you can install. Now there's other builds for this. This is Android 5.1.1. And um, there's an Ubuntu build. There's a um, another Linux build. I mean, this, this little thing is getting some support. Starting to snowball and get a little bigger. So um, in terms of performance versus the Raspberry Pi 2, in my opinion, this blows it out of the water. I gotta say it's twice as fast um, with all the tests that I've run. But if you guys uh, want to see more and you enjoyed this video, if you could hit that like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching.